David Plouffe, it seems we have now seen the last act of the drama <laughs> of the California recall election. Uh, it is now just a question of turnout tomorrow and counting the votes tomorrow night. Yeah, Lawrence, I think that uh, an effective pitch by Biden, but I think what you saw tonight, I think, is going to carry forward into next year because I found in politics, uh, you obviously want to give people something to vote for, but it's also important to give your base something to be against. And I think here in California, uh, you know, Elder played the Trump clone role uh, President Biden talked about. But I think all over the country, you're going to have candidates who are uh, COVID, uh, you know, deniers, uh, being irresponsible about uh, vaccines who don't think that we should be a democracy, who think we're riddled with fraud, who don't believe in climate change. So I think you can see, uh, I think, um, a really strong foundation for next year, which is obviously you want people to vote to say the Democrats did a good job on COVID, on rebuilding the economy, on climate change, on health care. But these other folks are no better than Trump. In many respects, uh, they're worse than Trump. Uh, and we saw how powerful that was both in 18 and 20. So I think what you're what you're going to see tomorrow, again, we need to study the results, the tactics, the strategies, the messages. Um, but I also think that is clear that it's not just a California issue. I will point out too, Lawrence, you know, out here we call them uh, no party preferences, used to call them decline to the states, basically independence as they're known in other states. And my understanding of the data is about 90 percent of those voters are vaccinated. About 95 percent of Democrats out here are vaccinated. Uh, and Newsom's likely to win two thirds of those independents. And again, I think when you look outside of California after this election in terms of what can we learn about this leading into 22, I think that's really, really important, particularly if he's able to win 15, 20 percent of vaccinated Republicans uh, and you dominate independents like that uh, on top of doing what you need to do with the base, which is no guarantee. We got to work really, really hard, I think, to get the kind of turnout we'll need to, to survive 22. Uh, and maybe gain some seats. But I think there's a lot to be learned about what is going to happen next year when you unpack these results in California uh, tomorrow and in the days to come. Maria, it's your best day. Uh, the president began by saying, I ran against the real Donald Trump, and uh, Larry Elder is the Trump clone now running for governor of California. So Donald Trump, obviously a large part of this closing argument uh, it for to to save Gavin Newsom as governor of California. Right. Uh, but I actually think we need to look very carefully and, as David says, unpack the tactics, because what I'm hearing on the street, there are a lot of ads that were coming out of the Newsom campaign that were all about sort of this is another version of Trump. This is fear. They're coming for you. And people actually want to hear you have to give people something to vote for. And, and Newsom has a record. It, there is really tremendous things he's done in this case for all of Californians, but for Latinos as well, that you could do a very positive message that this is what's on the line, the programs to expand um, early childhood, to invest huge amounts in education, to expand health care for undocumented. All of that is a positive record. It's, and it, I think Hillary Clinton made one of the mistakes that was made was to think that you only fear and just putting fighting against Trump was the way to win Latino votes. And I think we should all understand that Latinos are just like, and every voter it is more than just one thing. We're not just about immigration and we're not just about afraid of right wing. We care about education, health care, um, housing, work, employment. Talk to us about those issues. That's what we need to learn from this election.